Hello, I am Tato Cat, and welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Bad End. Uh, in the last episode, we found out that Kano was behind the Shadow Demon Beast because she thought Coco tried to steal her boyfriend. And then we got attacked and was left with me to continue. And apparently, the truth will be revealed at midnight. And that's kind of where we left off. So let's continue. Eh? An image of a map was attached to the email. The map was of the town where Iwasaki and Mihashi are living, the town setting in Bad End. Also, a certain spot had been marked on the map. At midnight, is it saying to go there at midnight? Wahahaha, <laughs> see you soon. Mihashi had said it right before the game session ended. So that means the truth isn't revealed in the game itself. So the mystery will be solved in the real world? Only the player who survived up until this point is given a chance to know the truth. Anyway, I made it to the end. This is reason enough to be proud. The game that's killed all those players, and I cleared it. However, Mihashi was really behind the whole damn incident. Mihashi completely misunderstood the relationship between Iwasaki and her lover. That's where it all began. She was involved in the accident due to a misunderstanding and rendered comatose. This caused her to haunt Iwasaki and drove her into an accident as well. On top of that, Mihashi made the game Bad End just for this reason. She did this to make Iwasaki suffer. Our friend is kind of a jerk. I was sure I had all the facts right. It's not conclusive, but still. There's gotta be a twist, right? This is, seems a little like it's too obvious. I'll get her to tell me everything. Most of all, I want to know why all those people and my best friend had to die. Why did Yuji have to die? I wanted to know the truth and why he was possessed to play this twisted game. I must go to this spot on the map and find out. I have to tell Shijo about this. As shocking as it will be, I have to tell him straight out. I called up Shijo. What happened? I talked about the fact that I cleared Bad End and backed up my reasoning with concrete details. Well, that's unfortunate. What a way to react. Upon Shijo hearing the news, his voice became sulky. Can I come over tonight? Kana will come, won't she? Most likely, yes. I think something like a shadow will appear. It will come out of Mihashi's body. I need to talk to Kana. Please, I have to. I was going to ask if he could join me anyways. I could use your help. Thank you. After the revelation was revealed, I hung up with Shijo. For now, I need to calm down. I'll put an end to all of this come midnight. I must prepare myself physically and mentally. When are we going to have like a... Some 80s montage music thing. Eye of the Tiger. It's final countdown. As we prepare. I meet up with Shijo and we went to the place marked on the map. Ooh. A playground. The only sounds heard were our own footsteps. We finally made it to the appointed place. Is it right here? Yeah. It ended up being a deserted park illuminated slightly by some nearby lampposts. It seems nobody will be disturbed by whatever ends up happening. It's about five minutes till midnight. It's almost time. Is Kana really the one behind this whole thing? I couldn't possibly imagine it. But it's the truth. You can't deny it. You mentioned on the way over here, your best friend was killed by this game, right? Excuse me, he's our secret lover, but yes. Yes, I'm almost positive that was the case. He probably made a mistake early on in the game. 
I told Shijo about my main concern for finding out the mystery and why I was putting my neck on the line to beat the game. Hearing about how I lost my best friend, Akira responded with a sad expression. Even though it brought back an emotional memory, it wasn't Akira's fault because he didn't know. So, what do you think about Kana? I mean, being in the hospital in a coma. Will you still visit her if she remains that way? It's true Mihashi misunderstood everything from the beginning and the coma stemmed from it. While she misunderstood, it doesn't excuse what she did. Although I haven't heard it from her yet, I'm fairly certain it's the truth. Shijo naturally wants to protect Mihashi. I would like to think that tonight will end on a happy note, but I'm not sure what's going to happen. Yeah. Do you think it would be a good idea if you watched from behind cover? Why? In case I was suddenly attacked. Oh, what's he going to do to the shadow? It's tackle a thing that just consumes stuff with its body? Like goo? In that case, you can get away in time. Okay, so it's not so you can attack the shadow, it's so you can run away. I couldn't leave you behind? Please, just listen to me. I don't want both of us to die. No more sacrifices in vain. There's so no such thing as vain sacrifices for our precious Yuji. We can sacrifice him. It's fine. It's for Yuji. It can't be helped. I'll do as you say. Shijo took cover behind a bush like I asked. I glanced at my wristwatch. It's almost midnight. And the time was midnight on the dot. I took a deep breath and called out in a raised voice. Mihashi! Are you there? If you're here, come out. My voice echoes through the night. And I felt a slight presence. A form blacker than the night sky appeared before me. It was identical to the cursed shadow that appeared in Bad End. The one responsible for Yuji's death. Finally, I meet you at last. You're surely behind this twisted game. I knew I was right. I said this bravely for someone who wasn't armed. I'm sure if I attacked it in any way, it wouldn't hurt the thing at all. Whatever may happen, fighting probably isn't an option. Will I make it out of this alive? It's not looking good, but I have to know the truth. I made it to the spot you said. Now start talking. I want to know everything. Although I probably have a good idea of what's happening. Really? Odd. Is it truly surprised by this? There's no way you can understand. What do you know about me? I take the initiative and explain what I know. I'll tell you exactly what you've done wrong and are accountable for. I'll tell you about the tragedy that you caused. Mithashi paused for a moment to let it sink in. Ooh. ooh. Akira is a lover. My one and only. Koko, how dare you betray me? It's all misunderstanding. Shijo couldn't take it anymore and sprung from his hiding place. <sighs> Shijo. Kana. Oh, Akira, my darling Akira. <gasps> ah, Akira, my Akira. This. It's all a misunderstanding. Kana, I could never abandon you. The only time I could talk was that time, and Coco was the only person I could think of. Because I love you. I couldn't tell you about the meeting. It would have hurt too much. Please believe me, Kana. Wait. So the meeting... wasn't... About him trying to get back with... See, even I'm confused what the meeting was about. I can't blame Kana for being confused. So, I'm guessing the meeting was really... 
the fact that Kana and him were just lovers but weren't quite boyfriend and girlfriend yet. And he wanted to take it on to the, he wanted to take it to the next level. And maybe he had a thing with Koko, but they were basically like, we're not going to go any further than what we're going ever. We can never do that anyways. Just closure sort of deal. Is what I'm guessing is what happens. And he really did love her. Ugh. So dramatic. Ah. Uh -huh. Then Mihashi began to tremor intensely. Ooh, whoa. I'm pretty sure parks aren't supposed to do that. Or the sky. The space around her became bored. What well, was just a dark shadow slowly took shape in the form of a woman. Ew. Yes. Not a good look. My goodness, turn back into the shadow. The next moment, the words from Mihashi came out with a blood curdling scream. I don't believe you! Kanakana, you. This thing is one and the same as the original Mihashi. Even all this time after the accident, all the negative feelings pent up have gone out of control. The result is this evil being that stands before us. Koko betrayed me. She's nothing but a slut. Is that the real reason? Because Koko is a man eater? To look down upon her. Yes, Koko is that type of human. You haven't answered any of my questions. Why did you kill the other players? You have no right to do so. <laughs> I'm trapping Coco's soul in the game. She'll never get out. The truth is whenever someone dies as a result of bad end, Coco's soul bears the brunt of it with dire consequences. She's punished for their mistakes. And Coco bears a grudge against the player, and she in turn murders that person. This was the whole purpose of my game. I'm the only one that actually killed them. How could you do such a selfish thing? The player's last thoughts before they died was... It was Coco. She was the monster. And I showed the entirety of what transpired to Coco's soul. And she would break down crying. Everything was meant to torment Coco. I see now. I knew that there would have to be a bigger reason for this whole plot, but... So in other words, the accident came before the game. The game isn't responsible for the accident. Did Yuji have to die because of this demon selfish acts? Kana, please. You've done enough. No more, please. How do we wake Kana and Koko? Tell us. That's a confusing thought. Kana, please. And then how do we wake Kana and Coco? <laughs> That's not possible. What? The title of the game is Bad End, so that means... There's no happy endings. You can't be serious. Damn it, stop messing around. <laughs> All your hopes just got dashed into despair. Now die! An overwhelming darkness races at us like a rabid beast. This is it. I'm done for. I'm no match for this even if I resist. I'm going to die here. Damn, I'm too young to die. I want to shout this, but it all seems so hopeless. If anything, it felt good to die knowing how Yuji was killed. You... Have done well, Kyuhei. 
え
Her eyes catch my face incidentally. Who's that guy? It seems she doesn't remember anything about the incident. He's a good friend of mine. He was really worried about you too. Chijo gestures to follow his lead. I nod in silence. So, what were you about to say? It looked like you were going to say something. What I was going to tell you about what happened. It was all a misunderstanding. Of course I know that. There's no way you'd betray me like that. Coco wouldn't do that. She wouldn't betray me. Mihashi's eyes start to get moist. Then tears roll down her cheeks. I was filled with selfishness after the accident. And caused so much trouble. No. No, it's okay. It's over now. Will you hear me out? I had a very scary dream. I was frozen in place. Mihashi's scary dream. What kind of dream did you have? Mihashi gave an apologetic expression with tear-streaked eyes. In my dream, I had become a terrible monster. Though I don't remember it in detail, it was very disturbing. I was so scared. I believe a large number of people died because of me. If word of this got around, there was no way anyone else would believe it. But what she described is exactly what happened in Bad Ends. Mihashi's misplaced wrath was responsible for the murder of a large number of people due to that game. Please. It was just a dream. Tell me it was all just a dream? Uh, of course it was. Shijo made eye contact with me as to follow along. I nodded again. The visiting hours finally ended and we had to leave. She just spoke up. I'm sorry, but... I know. It's for the best. I don't mean to hold a grudge against her for what happened. It was all a series of misfortunes. Thank you so much for understanding. It means a great deal to me. Thank you again. Come on, let's go check up on Coco. I thought he said just visiting hours ended. Akira? Hi, long time no see. Koko Iwasaki, I immediately recognized her from the game. She was just as pretty as in the game. My heart started throbbing unintentionally. Did you skip out on classes just to come see me? I heard that Kana had awakened. There was no way anything could have stopped me from coming right away. Kana too? I knew it. Knew what? Maybe she... You... Never stayed in contact, have you? You said you didn't see her since childhood, right? Er, well, yeah, that's right. Speaking of which, I explained that I am actually a friend of Iwasaki. This was awkward. What should I do to m make sense of this? You hate Inui? So you remember? Yes, I remember it all. <laughs> That's good to hear. She shows actually misunderstanding a bit. In actuality, Iwasaki and I aren't acquaintances at all. Iwasaki is remembering the event from Bad End, unlike Mihashi. Listen, I want to be alone with Inui for a moment. Uh, Alright, so you two are pretty close, huh? Possibly you two kept a promise for the future? <laughs> no, we have a boyfriend. Had a boyfriend. That's not what's happening, Akira. With that remark, Shijo left the room. Thank you for your help. So, you didn't forget what happened in the events of Bad End? Yes, unfortunately, I remember it all. For several months. I was tormented beyond anything you could imagine. My soul was torn from my body by that game, and I could only sit and helplessly watch. Every time a player killed me in the game, I felt intense pain, and the wrath of Kana's spirit attacked the player. The player mistook it for me holding a grudge, and as a result, was killed. 
I was in so much pain. It's just as the shadow had said. Iwasaki had suffered so much pain and torment. But then help came and decided to play the game and save my life. The truth is, I played the game because I wanted to know what killed my best friend. No matter what the risk was, I needed to know. You persevered till the end and helped me. Thank you so much. Iwasaki laughed calmly. Her smile immediately set me at ease, but there is still something I need to ask her. Do you have any resentment towards Mihashi? No, Kana was not the one responsible for tormenting me. I had fallen victim to someone's bad intentions by pure chance. That's actually a relief. It seems she doesn't remember that detail of bad end. It's probably for the best to keep the secret to myself. I don't hold a grudge against her for what happened. Okay. Phew. So with that, everything is settled. So I guess my business here is done. I guess I'll say goodbye to Iwasaki. For some reason I feel a deep sense of longing, a sense of loneliness. Well... We finally put Yuji to rest, the lover of our life, so... We'll never hear from him again. Of course it would be a sense of loneliness, we've had this goal to drive us during the time and... Now that goal is completed, so what's left? Listen, Anui. Hmm? Will you come visit me again? Huh? What did she just say? Just like Hana and her boyfriend, I want someone to be with. Someone to visit me and spend time with me and to talk to. That would make me truly happy. I see. Captivated by her beauty, there was no way I could decline. Then I suddenly recall. If the player had cleared bad end, there was a reward waiting at the end. Maybe this is what that meant after all. The incentive for players to play the game. But I never imagined the reward would be in this form. Then some time later. You seem to be in high spirits lately. Oh, I'm finally dating. R what? Konami's face registered shock that I have never seen him do before. Why are you surprised that there's still some good guys left, you know? This is just making my, uh... Yaoi thoughts... More yaoi tastic than saying that. I see, I see. So you finally let go of Yuji's circumstances and all. Oh. It was really good. I really owe you a lot. Thank you. Owe me? What did I do? It was due to Konami that I was able to make the initial contact with her. He had seen how depressed I was and invited me out for sweets. Without that, I might not have found out the truth. So I was able to track her down quicker than expected. Kyuhei! Hey Coco. It was only until recently that I started using an informal way of addressing her. I now call her by her first name, Coco. Everywhere we went, everyone immediately knew we were a pair. How's your body feeling? It's doing better. I can go out much longer due to getting my strength back. In the hospital, her muscles had atrophied to the point where she couldn't even stand up. With rehabilitation, her strength slowly returned. For the past week is when she was finally able to walk again. Shijo insists that Coco is still immature, but I think the whole experience changed her. In my opinion, I think it's made her a bit more assertive, which is a plus. It helps her self-esteem. Kana and Akira seem to be going steady now as well. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Shall we go on a double date one of these days? You know, that's not such a bad idea. Kana Mihashi, her rehabilitation is going well. Each day is progressively better. 
Chijo is constantly inspiring her and helping her out. So, I don't have to worry. By the way, Bad End has completely disappeared. Yeah, the game's webpage is also gone as well. The author is gone and the game hasn't somehow cursed us with its existence again. Thank goodness. From that day, Bad End had completely disappeared from the internet. The devoted posters on the BBS anonymity board who have been wanting a copy were sad, but if only they knew what was in store for them, they would have stayed the hell away from it from the start. Do you think a game like that will be made again? I honestly don't know. Even if there was, I'd never play it. That's a relief. If you die without me, I'll be all alone. Coco folded her arms over me and gave me a warm embrace. I lost my best friend to this whole tragedy, but in the end, I was happy. If I learned anything, is that a small misunderstanding can make a mountain out of a molehill. That was just part of human nature. Therefore, I wouldn't be surprised if something similar to Bad End was created again someday. Hopefully it would get deleted before anyone got injured or worse, killed. All I could do is pray that it wouldn't come to that. Oh, we got the ending. We got there, guys. I'm still convinced that Yuji was more than her friend. And maybe that Konami was a little sad that we found someone else that wasn't him. Yeah, I'm making you guys watch the credits. Mwahahaha. A lot of work goes into these games. Might as well get, let people get the credit they deserve. All of these credits are going by. Oh, I got the true end? Yay, ending number 14. True end. It said that there is a game in which a person that dies in the game will also die in real life. I'm playing it right now. So what's the title of this game? You're next. Yay! I got an achievement! True end. How many endings are there? 14 in total, it looks like. I mean, there are several ways to die, so... Okay. So my thoughts on the game, uh, that I've got to the true end of the series, is that it was worth it. It wasn't an expensive game to begin with, but it was worth it. I enjoyed playing it. There's lots and lots of endings to get. I mean, yes, the character that we played within the game of this game was so annoying, but she was supposed to be that way, so it's fine. And you're not quite sure where all the choices are going to go, which is enjoyable. So it does keep you on your toes a bit. And the art was really good. So yeah, I enjoyed the game. I would recommend it to a person who likes horror games and wants a game that isn't super long. Because to be honest, this game was kind of a short game. If I, I, I probably could have finished it within a day, honestly. So it's worth a shot. It's it's not a game that you feel like, well, that's. Four days of my life that I'm never going to get back. No, it was it was actually enjoyable. Oh, there's more. Thank you for playing. Your score evaluation is as follows. There's a score evaluation. I gave her the whole speech, thinking that that was like the end of the game. But apparently there's a score evaluation. This evaluation is based on the first playthrough. Being s such, you probably made a few wrong decisions, which is natural. 
The evaluation is decided by how many times you encountered bad end from start to finish. The final score is not influenced by a second playthrough and onwards. The score is permanent on the first playthrough. We appreciate your understanding. So don't feel like you did poorly based on the score. The only way to get the highest possible score is to not make a single mistake, which we made quite a few. Now for your evaluation. Rank G. What is G? Kyuhei died on the first choice. That's really sad. I feel judgment from that. Oh, the game judged me so harshly. My goodness. Anyways, thank you for uh, watching the series to the end, if you got to the end. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Tedika. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon.